Uh, can I get a 10 piece McNuggets? A large Dr. Pepper, a large Sprite. Can I get a McDouble? And a McDouble, please. Okay, so the nugget, any kind of barbecue or sweet sauce? Do what? For the nugget, would you like any kind oh. of barbecue or sweet sauce? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the bass are gonna like barbecue. Barbecue, barbecue please. Barbecue, please. Can I get a 10 piece and a McDouble? Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, ma'am, quick question. Um, so, we're looking to catch some largemouth with those McNuggets. Do you think barbecue sauce or ranch would work better? Ranch. Ranch? ranch. Oh, I think we got barbecue. You want to throw some ranch in there for us? Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. So, we just picked up some McDonald's. I got a McDouble for myself because I'm a little starving. Haven't eaten since uh, like 5 a.m. And then we got some McNuggets. I've heard the uh, McNugget bite has been on. Uh, we've also got like wind of a banana bite. So we got a banana bite and uh, McNuggets. So we had to run to McDonald's, grab some McNuggets. You know, I'm always talking about like a leaf pattern and stuff. Today's a little different, McNuggets and bananas. So as I'm here sitting, eating this McDouble, we've got to wait about 20 minutes because you know, that's just the time that bass like to eat. Bass like to eat no earlier than five. So we're gonna wait, but we got some McNuggets. We've got some bananas. Those are the two patterns that we've heard have been working today. But hopefully, we're gonna get some dope footage of just bass blowing up and just epicness. And then later, we are uh, we're going fishing, right? Yeah. In the in the dark, night fishing. So that's something I've never really done. Like I've never went night fishing and caught fish. So I've never done it. So it's gonna be interesting. You'll, you'll catch them. Kyle's saying that that for sure we're gonna catch them. So you guys are gonna see some like pretty epic footage real quick here and then we are gonna go night fishing. So I don't know how I'm gonna film that, if it's gonna be really dark, but it should be fun. That's, that's the banana. They're, uh, most people think bananas are bad luck. They're actually, uh, they're actually good luck. Can I shatter those? These gizzard, are gizzard shad. Gizzard shad. Are the bigger the better. So this is where we're uh, where we're gonna be fishing. We got an ice fishing rod, some shad, McNuggets, and a banana. Those are uh, those are the baits of choice. So we got got a ten ten piece nugget here. What did that lady say? The lady we don't want barbecue. That lady said ranch, right? So we we've, we've got some creamy ranch. That's what that's what the McDonald's lady said. They're usually pro fishermen, so we'll go with her suggestion. With some ranch action. I mean that kind of looks like a shad. Does that look like a shad to you? All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to hand feed a bass with with a uh, McNugget. Oh. <laughs> it's right there! It's right there! Oh my gosh! Dude, I am like wow. So we got a, a, a shad, no hook. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens when we stick this in the water. Should be interesting. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> did you just drop a cannonball in there or did I miss something? Did you guys see that? They snapped their dang hook off. Oh yeah, they did. He, he, he casted it. Dude, before I was thinking- I, It didn't even hit the water. It literally it, it did. didn't even hit the what water. Just happened? All right, Grant's, Grant's going in for the shad. <laughs> All right, let's see what do we got. We got a barbecue. Got a barbecue. So bleeding shad, yeah. bleeding shad imitation. We're gonna we're gonna see what what this guy does. Oh, he flashed on it. I know he's gonna eat my hand. All right, ready? Ready? Make a nugget bass. What do you got there? Is that the leaf pattern? Yeah. And it's got so like Parrick uses lettuce. Grant Grant uses leaves. Yeah, I'm more of a. We'll see who uh, who catches it's the bigger kind of fish. Well, he a little bit bigger than four pounds. Oh yeah, he's just a touch bigger than four pounds, Mama. A little uh, shad shad chicken nugget. Here we go. We got. McNugget and a banana. So we're gonna put the banana on the rod, just just for fun. It's a little ice fishing I don't know rod. How to do this? We don't know how we're gonna do this. We're we're gonna we'll figure something out though. All right, cow's got banana. It's banana time, boys. Bananas are usually bad luck fishing. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Yeah. 
Oh, they, they're following it. You on. are getting sleep. He ate half of it. He ate half the banana. <laughs> dude, dude, I, I don't even sad. know what to say. The bass just ate a banana. Yeah, it's on. It's really. Funny. I don't even know what to say. Well, Kyle, what do you what do you do you think Project Mc, McNugget was a yeah, success? It went really good, guys. <laughs> do you, do you good. think uh, barbecue sauce was better? I, do you think I, McDonald's I, lady was right, or did you think the Shad Imitation Ranch? I was think better? the ranch is better. It's McDonald's was a success. If you guys liked this video. You got to do two things. One, you like this video, and you go subscribe to his channel because he has way doper footage than I do of this type of stuff. Kyle, it's called it's the Fish Whisper, right? Yep. Fish yep. Whisper, yeah. So I'll link it down below. Um, you guys need to go check it out because he's got like the sickest fishing, like just that, what you guys just saw, the sickest that blow on YouTube, blow up videos and other things. So turtle make sure you go check him out. Turtle knockout. Turtle, you knocked out a turtle? Yeah. What did you do? You, you punch it? That? You punched a turtle? No, no, the bass come up and knock him out. Oh. <laughs> God, like, what is this guy going to think turtle? of next? All right, so we're going we're gonna to go get some grub. We're going to get some pizza and then we're, we're going to go pond fishing tonight. So I don't know how much of that I'm going to film. I hope you guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this, like, this footage. This is something I've, like, dream, dreamt, dreamed of doing since, uh, ever, ever since I saw Kyle doing this. This is, uh, this is crazy. So, anyways, we, uh, yeah, we're gonna go pond fishing. Those are cats. I think so. Alright, let's see. Oh, you got him! You got him! That's a cat in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's a... Right here. That's a big one. We got a big, big cat. Oh my gosh. Dude, are you kidding me? Look at it just take drag. Look at it just take drag, dude. How's that feel? Like a shark? Like Pretty much. Yeah, there's some oh, yeah, he's young. He's horsing out of it. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang, dude. Oh, he hung him up. There's some brush out there. He got hung on. We hooked into one. When Grant hooked into one big catfish, but you know, it, it got him stuck in some brush and ended up coming off. So that's no good, but we're gonna go actually fishing, like actually fishing with normal, like normal bodies of water. This is not normal, like actually normal bodies of water. So it is about 7.15 PM. We're going night fishing. Like I said, this is something I've never really done before. Like I've literally never like caught a bass in like the dark. We're going for biggins though. We're going for biggins. I'm throwing. I got a Huddleston right there. A little, little hud, a little hud swim bait, and and a uh, black and blue jig. Pretty sick. My camera just decided to fall over, but that's what we're doing. Throwing a hud jig. We're hitting four, three or four different ponds. Probably be out there for a couple hours. Hopefully, catch a biggin. So we are in a parking lot. There are like eight ponds that we're gonna fish. So we're just gonna, we're, gonna, we're just gonna be a, a fun night of pond hopping. You probably won't be able to see anything, but I'm gonna roll the roll the chest mount, and when I catch one, I'll probably shine a little light on it or something, and, and uh, show you guys the fish that I catch. So, you ready? Let's do this. All right, I'm starting out with that bait, a little uh, little black and blue jig here. See uh, see if this is the ticket. Night fishing is cool, but I think the reason why I don't do it is because you guys literally can't see anything. Like it's probably just pitch black right in front of you. Probably just like pitch black for you guys right now, but we'll see. Yes, yeah, like I said, it's not nothing I've done before. Kyle said it's fun, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, he's got one. Is it big? Grant just caught the first one. Look at that little buddy. Little jig. Yeah, he hit it good. Little little nighttime fish. Uh huh. Oh, not going. Had some big splashes. Good job, dude. Double hook. Nice work. That's that's numero uno for yep. the night. We are taking off from pond number one. Grant, you caught a fish, right? Yeah, I caught yeah. a fish. Good job. Okay, he caught a fish. Yeah, we didn't get skunked. We got one or two more ponds. We're gonna go. We're gonna go head up. So we gotta get in the vehicle, and uh, hopefully those uh, produce a little bit better. We we kind of realize it's a new moon, which is usually not good for night fishing. It's actually like the worst thing for night fishing. That's the excuse we're using. 
uh, <laughs> not catching fish at this pond in particular. Hopefully the next one's better. How's it going folks? That is the end of the video. I'm actually back home right now. I didn't film an outro because by the time we actually got back, everyone was asleep and I didn't really want to make a ruckus making an outro, but I'm, so I'm going to make the outro here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was pretty epic. Honestly, if you guys want to see like way better stuff, go check out the Fish Whisperer. I will link his stuff down below. He's done he's done stuff that'll blow your mind. I never thought bass were like this smart, and uh, he's made a bass, like a five, six pound bass jump through a hoop. He's done a lot of cool things. So go check his channel out. Shout out to Kyle for inviting me down for a great time and allowing me to film that video for you guys to enjoy because those videos are, you know, they're videos I don't ever really get to do, not many YouTubers get to do, and it's just really, really awesome to be able to share that cool experience with you guys um, for you guys to all enjoy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, night fishing was not a success. Like I said, there was a new moon. That's just me making up an excuse, but I've heard, you know, that's not usually the best conditions because they don't feed because of the low light conditions. You know, we didn't, we didn't really hardly catch much, just a couple, but I had a great time in Texas. Tomorrow's video, I, I caught like a six pounder in Texas. So you guys are not going to want to miss that. Same time, pretty much every single day, just around seven o'clock. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm trying to get used to doing like daily videos. It's very, very difficult sometimes. Um, but either way, I always upload right around 6, 30, 7 o'clock central time. That's all I've got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and peace.